Become a channel member to gain early access to all 5M scripting videos. Hey guys, it's Alpha, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a key press for toggling a ragdoll in 5M. This is mainly going to be practice for getting used to using threads and key presses since they're going to be used a lot in future episodes. Uh, so I just want to make sure that you guys are competent with of getting those working. So we're going to obviously head over to our resources and as per usual, we're going to grab our template resource and just copy and paste it. And then we'll call this one key press dash ragdoll. If I could spell. There we go. And then here, we don't need the server.lua, just need the client and FX manifest. So we'll open both of these with code. And then in FX manifest, we can get rid of the server scripts and files. And then we're just going to add client.lua into our client scripts. And then for the description, we'll just put a key press to toggle ragdoll. Brilliant. So in our client.lua, uh, we're going to go ahead and create a thread we created one of these in last week's episode and, and as i said before these basically just run indefinitely if you use them with a while true loop which is what we're going to be doing today so we're just going to bring down the final bracket and turn end and inside of here like i just said we're going to do while true do and basically what this means is it just, it just runs indefinitely and then we're going to do citizen.wait and then in this, we're going to put one, basically, so it just runs every other tick, basically. Uh, if you do zero, it'll run every tick. But the more often it runs, the more resources it's going to use, basically, the more laggy it'll be. Obviously, at this rate, it's not really going to take that much with just one thread. But the more threads you add, the more the more it'll have an effect, basically. Um, just make sure that's curly brackets, not square brackets on the system.wait. And then in here, we're going to do an if statement. If is control just... We'll do pressed so you can do is control just released or you can do is control held i'm just going to do pressed you can obviously mess around with the other ones and then in here you've got to put one and then also we've got to put the the hash number or not the hash number but the integer number of the control that we're trying to do so i want to do h on the keyboard to to toggle the the, the ragdoll but what we can do is we can go to the 5m docs to get the controls up just here and then on here you've also got the index number for every single control um, so I'm going to be using H, which I believe is 74 just here. Yeah. So normally it's, it's to toggle the headlights, but obviously when you're not in a vehicle, you don't, you don't need that. So, uh, we're going to have it as a, as a ragdoll. So I'm just going to use number 74 for mine. So after this one comma, I'm going to put 74. And then after the brackets, I'll put then the if statement, if control just pressed H, then set head to ragdoll and then we'll just do get player head and we'll do minus one that'll get the the player head that we're talking about and then we're going to do a comma and then we're going to do 1000 this is just uh, we've got to do two time variables basically um for how long the the ragdoll is going to last so this is in milliseconds so this will just last one second basically um for the the ragdoll obviously if you want it to last longer you can you can do that or you could do uh, while is control. You could do a while control is held if you want to hold down to, to have the the ragdoll last until you let go of the button. But obviously, I'm just going to do a toggle just to uh, put you in ragdoll for for one second. And then we're going to add notify just to uh, just as a bit of practice for using the notify function, which we have made in a previous video. Uh, we'll make another version of it today. We'll be using a slightly different method so we're just going to put key press triggered ragdoll triggered like so and then we're just going to add an end for the if statement so that's our thread created and then we're just going to make the notify function so i'll just put notify like so and then we'll put text in there so then we're going to do set text component format and then here we'll put string and then we're going to do add text component string Oop, not all caps. There we go. Uh, and there'll be text in there because that's our parameter for the notify 
function and then we're going to do display help text from string label so before in the previous notify function that we made it was a draw notification but we're going to do a help text one which will basically instead of uh, posting it above the radar it posts it in the top right like a little help notification basically obviously you can use either one i'm just showing this one just so you know the different options that are available and i'm just going to put end in there so we're just going to use zero zero one minus one uh, and then yeah we'll end that and then that should work so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our resources.cfg and in here we'll just do ensure key press dash ragdoll i believe we called it let's check yes key press ragdoll there you go and if we start up the server that should run the script yep brilliant it started the resource so now we can boot up 5m and test it out brilliant so now that we're in the server if i press h it should put me in ragdoll and notify me yep brilliant so key press triggered ragdoll triggered and as you can see it's it's ragdolling my player for a second obviously if you want it to last longer you can change that the integer of a thousand to uh ten thousand would be ten seconds hundred thousand would be a hundred seconds completely up to you uh, basically just uh doing this to get you guys used to threads and key presses which we'll be using in a couple of weeks time uh, when we start on frameworks so that is everything for today's video as always if you enjoyed leave a like leave a comment share with your friends if you need any support join the support discord that's linked at the top of the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.